A Star Wars classic returns, an interactive blast from gaming's past, and so much more. Hey, it's Jen, and welcome to Kotaku's Week in Games. Here are our picks for what to check out this week. Passing by, A Tailwind Journey is a 2D platformer with low-poly papercraft vibes. In this whimsical world of floating isles, you play as Curly, a young balloonist who's tasked with delivering a mysterious letter. And frankly, not enough games let you play as a young balloonist. You'll solve puzzles on each island while managing your resources to survive. There's a lot more to games than just button mashing and battle passes. Case in point, Lamasoft, The Jeff Minter Story is a collection of 42 classic titles across eight platforms from one of Britain's most influential game designers. This is the second installment in Digital Eclipse's Gold Master series, following last year's excellent making of Karateka. Lamasoft is an interactive documentary featuring interviews, archival footage, and other supplemental materials to contextualize Minter's games and offer a fuller portrait of their creator. High Water is a story-driven adventure game with isometric, turn-based combat. It's set on a version of Earth that's almost entirely underwater following an apocalyptic event, and you'll guide Nikos and his friends as they fight for a chance to escape to a new life on Mars. Is there room for one more in that raft? 2004 is so back, baby. The quintessential Star Wars combat sim returns with a remaster of Battlefront and Battlefront 2. You can play online with up to 64 players or offline as a slew of characters from the galaxy far, far away, fighting over iconic locations from the series. That'll do it for this week. Which games are you looking forward to trying out? Let us know in the comments below. And for more gaming coverage, be sure to check out Kotaku.com.